That's good. You're good. Okay, sounds good. Well, welcome everyone. We're um, currently hosting the Delegate of Programming Q&A, and we have our candidates here on the line. And um, the order of tonight will be that um, our candidates will be able to introduce themselves. Um, they'll, and they'll kind of talk about their experience and the things that um, they're involved with and why they wanted to um, become the delegate of programming. And then we will go into a series of questions that um, relate to their role through AB, relate to the delegate of programming role, um, but then also just being a member of the um, LSD board as well. Um, and then they'll have a chance to answer those around a minute each. And then we'll give them a chance to kind of give a summary statement or a closing statement as to um, any other um, factors that they want us to consider for um, elections. So um, tonight, in tonight's order, we will go Ariella, um, Whitney, and then Kathleen. Does that sound good with y'all? And Aurelia, am I pronouncing your name correctly? It's Aurelia. Aurelia. Okay. Okay, then. Perfect, then. Well, Aurelia, we're going to start with you, and so you can um, basically go over what things that you're involved with now, and then sort of why you chose to apply for this position. Perfect. Well, hi, my name is Aurelia Phillips, and I'm a 2L at the University of St. Thomas in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm currently very involved both in, at my school and in the Minnesota, Minnesotan legal community um, at school, uh, planning events through the social committee or being on different boards, whether it's the Board of Advocates or um, a legal fraternity executive board. I really enjoy just bringing people together. I like to create that sense of community, whether it's at school or, or whether it's um, in the broader legal community. And I'm looking to, to expand that nationally um, through the ABA. And I think this is a really good opportunity because we are all hardworking law students and we all have something great to offer. And to build that sense of community um, through different advantages events and programs that students would find intriguing and, and, and want to participate in is something that I'm looking forward to do with the help of, um, you know, law students across the country. That is amazing. Okay, well, thank you so much. Um, and Whitney, um, are you available to give your intro as well? We'll give you a chance now. Okay. My name is Whitney. Johnston. I am a current 1L at Southern University Law Center in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I'm running for the delegate of programming position essentially because I am just passionate about making sure that students are branding themselves to become the best lawyers that they can be. I think um, when it comes to the ABA, a lot of students are not familiar with what the ABA does and what the ABA has to offer. Um, my, myself, um, I myself being one of those students um, in the past, just want to be able to bring the ABA more to the forefront so that students can get to know the ABA and actually be able to interact with the ABA more so that they can build a relationship to be able to go out and be the lawyers that they want to be. Um, and then, of course, having the ABA provide those tools for them, um, which I think all law students will like. Well, thank you so much. Okay, Kathleen, next you are up. Thank you. My name is Kathleen Wells. I am currently a 2L at George Mason Scalia Law. I am from Maryland and I haven't really left the DMV area, um, but the pro of that is that I've had um, a really awesome opportunity to get to know the DC legal community, which also is very involved in the national legal community as well. In terms of my involvement at Mason, I'm a student ambassador, so everything from orientations to tours to panels, I'm there, I'm speaking. Um, I'm a member of two and of courts here, so I'm already sort of engaging and trying to understand information about networking, and uh, that sort of inspired part of what I want to do for the Delegate of Programming is take that information and that exposure and bring that to the law student division. 
and law students at large. Um, you know, my leadership experiences really focus on transparency and being a member of a team um, because the ABA is large, has a lot of resources and a lot of really passionate people. So I think this would be a really awesome opportunity to channel my passion for bringing people together and in doing so in an efficient way. Much. Thank you so much. Um, and so Kathleen, I guess since we're already on you, can would you be willing to, so we can do Kathleen, Whitney, and then Aurelia to go backwards so you guys can get a little mix up. But um, so our next question will be, well, our first question will be, um, what do you feel are the most important issues facing law students today? And how do you plan to address that within the delegated programming role? Sure. So I think that there are common issues that have been affecting law students for some time. I don't think that's really dramatically changed in the past year. Um, you know, I think at the forefront, a lot of people talk about, you know, career and networking. It can be a little intimidating to go into these networking events and realize that's part of the profession. And so in that way, I think that's a really good opportunity to begin engaging mentorship, which is huge in the profession and has big ramifications um, long term and building connections. Additionally, diversity, inclusion, and intersectionality. Um, there are a lot of barriers to attending law school and then even those barriers continue into the profession and sort of the roles that you want to take. Um, personally, I worked in the mental health profession and research for a couple of years, and I think that's also a trend that faces law students today is mental health awareness and well-being and longevity in the profession. Um, I do think that we have the resources, so it's not like a burnout period of time, but we can figure out a way that we can be happy in our careers and healthy in the same way. And I do think that all of these issues start at the law student level, and uh, we have the resources to sort of have programs centered around that in the beginning so that we're equipped for the profession at large. So much. Okay. And Whitney, could you address the same question? What do you feel are the largest issues facing law students today? And how do you plan to um, use the delegate of programming role to address these issues? I totally agree with Kathleen. Um, the major issues that are facing students today, um, essentially it's jobs. We, we as law students, we, do not, we come to law school to leave law school with a job. Um, also, it is diversity and inclusion. Like Kathleen said, when we leave, um, law, diversity and inclusion is not only just important in law school, but it's just as important once you leave law school um, and get into those roles within your job. Um, a lot of times there are issues with that regarding women leaving the legal field because of uh, the, any, the not being equal within different positions. So essentially just bringing more jobs to students, branding, allowing students to be able to brand themselves for the jobs um, so that they could have the tools necessary to uh, work at the law school, essentially. Thank you. And Aurelia, you are next. Yes, I absolutely agree with the other two candidates. Um, I do think that mental health is a huge issue. Um, just like Kathleen said, it starts right in law school and it carries on through our uh, careers as, as attorneys and um, it just builds upon itself and to address the problem at its root cause and have those resources there to, you know, inhibit maybe substance abuse or, you know, depression, other mental health areas is important right from the start of law school. Um, along the same lines, engagement. So getting people engaged with other resources we're not just, I'm a law student, I go to class, but we have these, we have the ABA, we have different local and, and statewide bar associations to say, I'm not alone. And this is how you get through this law school career and your legal career with these other, other attorneys. So to reach out and, um, and, to, and to really engage in those opportunities. And then additionally, offering different hands-on experience. I think sometimes law schools can focus on the schoolwork and in classwork and you know taking a test and being able to read this book read book work can only go so far once you're out of law school. So offering those hands-on opportunities to say you know I actually know how to practice law now that I'm done with law school. 
Okay, that sounds great. Okay, and I guess we'll just go into the next question. Um, Aurelia, we'll go with you again, and then Whitney, and then Kathleen again, and then we'll maybe mix it up. So, but um, why specifically do you, why, why are you applying to the delegate of programming role and not any of the other roles? What, what about this position do you think that drew you to this role instead of the others? To me, two positions really stood out, this position and then um, the diversity position and the other two candidates talked about the importance of diversity. But to me, this position was the, my number one choice because I really enjoy planning events. I love bringing people together that wouldn't necessarily come together for other reasons. And I think if you offer a variety of, um, variety of programs, then you can bring those people together. And so, at um, school, I'll do a variety of like fun things. So I planned a summer softball league, but also uh, we also met with the Minnesota Supreme Court and um, you know had a Q and A type style meeting and luncheon with them. And there were some similar people and some different people at both the events. And to be able to offer that opportunity for the for my community is just really rewarding. I don't find it as a job, but as a as something I just enjoy doing. So it really stood out to me. Thank you so much. Okay, Whitney, you are up. Well, for me, just like Aurelia said, um, two positions stood out to me, um, being the diversity and inclusion and this position. I think with this position, I'm able to be more hands-on to promote the programs and the things that I wish to accomplish, such as bringing students together. Um, I think being interested in a diversity and inclusion position allows me to be able to promote programs or create programs that are inclusive of all individuals. Me, myself, being a person who is diverse in a multitude of ways, um, being an African-American student, being a woman um, in law school or in the legal field, also being a member of the LGBTQ community, I am diverse and I just want to be able to reach out to other students who are diverse and just other law students in general to make sure that everyone has the programs that are necessary to excel in law school and excel beyond law school. Okay, well, that's great. Thank you. And Kathleen, you are up next. I do believe that the delegate of programming is in a really unique role to work with all of the other delegates and has, you know, not to pick one issue or one agenda, but sort of working with everyone to make sure that the AV Law Student Division is being heard. Um, with the conferences that happen, there is a really awesome opportunity to have those programs be in display and to really reach people across the nation. And so in terms of taking the background that I have, which is an undergrad sort of starting the TEDx at George Mason in to law school, which is being the president of trial ad here and sort of recruiting um, in real time today, we started tabling, um, taking these experiences and putting it to the national level and really having an opportunity to connect, uh, to bring all sort of issues and areas to the forefront of the programs that we would continue learning about is why I applied to the delegate position. Okay, well, that sounds amazing. And I guess um, going along with what your response was, um, to kind of you kind of talked about other things that you're involved with um and this will be a question for every single candidate um what are your obligations next year and also what kind of research have you done into what's expected as a delegate of programming and how do you expect to find a balance um with your other obligations yes kathleen does that make sense did you hear me okay yes yeah, so we'll go with you again okay it's, it's just was going off what you said already so yeah so you know what's interesting about law school and i know that we all watching understand this is that every year you sort of take on more responsibilities and then you get more comfortable with the more that you could take on um that being said though i'm really comfortable with the roles that i have assumed for my incoming 3l year which as i've mentioned is the president of george mason's trial advocacy association and continuing on as a law student ambassador and just being involved in uh, local bar organizations as such uh, in terms of researching for the position i have spoken to you <laughs> the previous delegate and i've reached out to um, 
Sarah as well and sort of understanding what is the structure of the ABA Law Student Division and what are the roles of SBA presidents, ABA representatives, and ABA liaisons. Um, I obviously met with the SBA president and the ABA rep of my school um, who are also members of Triad. So um, that really showed to me that there are common themes and interests upon all the different bodies who are voting in this election, but who also want their voices to be heard. And um, so I do feel comfortable in the roles that I've assumed and sort of that common theme of uniting people across the position. Great, well, thank you so much. And Whitney, we will go with you next. So what sort of, um, just to reiterate the question, what sort of research have you um, done into the delegate of programming role? And um, also what are your obligations for next year and how do you plan to balance your um, role, your duties um, as the delegate of programming if you get the position? But if, how would you balance um, that position with your other obligations? Okay. So um, currently, I have no upcoming roles for the 2019-2020 uh, uh, upcoming school year. I am, I did apply to be a student ambassador, which I'm waiting to hear back from. We do have a interview process that we're going through now. Um, and also, I am working on bringing back our uh, outlaw organizations, which is the organization for the LGBT community um, at my law school. So those are two things I'm working on being a part of in the upcoming school year but at this point um none of those are solidified um but um of course with this position this will be um if i was to obtain this position it will be the top of my list or among some of the things that are top of my list next to being a student um the research that i've done i do see that it takes about 10 hours a week um, of dedication to this position um, i've just researched the roles in I talked to one of the current delegates at my school who is um, the delegate of communication right now. Um, and that's essentially all that I've done so far. Okay, well, thank you so much. Aurelia, you are next. And just to reiterate the question, um, what sort of research have you done into the delegate of programming role and what other obligations do you have for next year? And how do you plan to find a balance between um, the duties for both? Yes, I did appreciate that the um, job description was so detailed and that um, it also gave a link to, um, I believe, the Consti Constitution. So it said exactly what the, the job entails. Um, and then from that, I was able to research what was planned this year. And I, um, you know, really appreciated seeing what you did, what you were able to do this year. I also uh, attended the ABA conference a little bit with a friend last year in Chicago. So I was able to see firsthand, as well as talking to um, that ABA rep and our student body president. And um, this upcoming year, similar to the other two candidates, I'm also a director on the um, board of advocates. So that in entails trial advocacy, moot court negotiations a student ambassador and a peer mentor for the 1Ls. And um, we're all pretty involved. And I think the key to that is staying on top of things, being proactive, not leaving things to the last minute, and being very organized. And going into this, if I were to go into this position, knowing what is um, asked of me and being able to plan ahead, I think is key to staying, um, to being successful. So. Thank you so much. Um, and Whitney, so we'll start with you this time just to mix things up. Um, but yes, our next question um, kind of goes into um, kind of following off this last question. Um, so basically, with the delegate of programming role, just because it's a national ABA position, you kind of get flexibility to make the role what you want it to be. Um, and sometimes, being honest, you can't necessarily do all the traditional ways of programming, like maybe at schools how we do events. So um, sometimes it requires innovation to figure out how um, you're gonna make yourself relevant. So for um, this year, I Austin knows, I kind of started working with more of, um, we're currently working with Headspace and looking into other ways to provide benefits that um, will benefit the law community to kind of help students that may not being that even though that's not like a traditional format so i guess i would say like 
for the role, being that it allows innovation to make it what you want, what are one or two programming ideas that um, you would want to implement that um, kind of are unique to you and innovative? And Whitney, that's you, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so some of the programming roles that are ideas that I have to bring to the table, I definitely want to um, get along, kind of go with an ABA organized job fair. I know that you said kind of you have to be innovative and you know we don't always have detailed things and what we have to do, um, but I do want to push for an ABA organized job fair. Um, the current incoming president of the ABA is Judy Martinez, who is also a lawyer here in Louisiana where I'm located at, so I would really like to work with her one-on-one um, to just be able to get some things out there or to be able to invite her because I know um, by hearing her speak that she's very into uh, getting local ABA attorneys, which is a lot of attorneys state or worldwide or countrywide that or nationwide that um, are a part of the ABA. So just being able to bring in those local attorneys to talk to students is one of my main things that I want to do because we don't necessarily have to go to the national level or, you know, bring people from uh, wherever the headquarters are to the school, but to bring those local ABA attorneys into the school, such as Judy Martinez, who is a local Louisiana attorney, to be able to talk to students um, and just be able to give students what they need as far as getting jobs and just being prepared for the law field after law school. Okay, well, thank you so much. And Kathleen, we will go to you next. Um, being that the, just reiterating, being that um, the delegate of programming role um, is a national ABA position, how do you plan to bring um, innovative ideas to the role? And what sort of ideas do you have for programs that um, would apply to the legal community as a whole? Well, the law school community as a whole. Sure. So things that are really important to me are transparency and teamwork. So I think there's also a lot of power in numbers. I have previous uh, work experience working in a large institution with a lot of personalities and a lot of moving pieces. So, you know, the beauty of the law student division structure is that as the delegate of programming, I would have the opportunity to work with the delegate of communications or the delegate of diversity and work together on resolutions and sort of coming together with the chair is what is the agenda and how can we implement that down the line too into the programs that we want to see at conference. Um, as also was mentioned, you know, teaming up with the local level with local bar associations in of courts and things like that. I mean, if we're trying to promote career and networking, why don't we use the people who are currently intrigued and want to connect with law students and who are in the profession at the local level. And the ABA has those resources. The pros of being a really well-respected national organization is that you have everyone in every neck of the woods so every law school and law student can be heard and can be connected to a program. So overall I think that the delegate of programming is in a unique position to work with the other delegates and all of the bodies in the division. Okay. Thank you so much. Aurelia, you are next. And if, just to reiterate, what sort of innovative ideas would you like to bring to the delegate of programming position? Um, and you can just give us your ideas or kind of give us a general generalization of what you would like to implement. Yeah, so I think that the ABA already has really great opportunities and events. Um, so my main focus would be just to get people involved and to get that engagement because you can plan really great things, but if people don't show up, then that's an uh, issue. Um, but beyond getting people involved, I, I do uh, would like to reiterate what the other two candidates said, but I would like to do some regional events, not just um, statewide, which I think is great, but um, bring the states together a little bit more because we do have that access and we have some great law schools in each section of the country. Um, and also do some hot topic events. So. Um, the ABA posts really great articles on like the top, some topics that are going on in the news, but I think it would be very intriguing for students to see, all right, this is how the law degree works in the real world and that's how it's working in the news right now. Um, and then also use committee liaisons just to see what their committees are interested in and um, maybe intermingle the committees just because there's a lot of overlapping law to plan different events um, that wouldn't just be interesting to one section, but to multiple. 
Okay, well, thank you so much. Um, and that's sort of, I guess, on that note, um, Aurelia, if you had to give your close, so we'll go proceed with closing statement. So um, for this, you can take up to a minute, but to kind of just describe what exactly, um, what exactly you're bringing to the role, what you hope to accomplish, and why um, anyone should, like, well, why should anyone elect you for the position? if that makes sense. So each, every person will we'll go from Aurelia to Whitney to Kathleen again. <laughs> yeah, so I just wanna start with thanking everyone if you joined us or if you're watching it now for your time um, and just for taking the responsibility of being a delegate to the ABA and, and making your, an informed vote. I think we could all really appreciate that. So thank you for that. Um, I. My main goal as the ABA or as the delegate of programming would really be to build a stronger community. I think right now the ABA can seem like this overpowering, overwhelming national organization, but at its core, like this section is made up of students that are going through a similar experience no matter where you are in the country. And I think we can we can rally together and really create a strong community. Um, I do think I have an extensive background of, of planning events and bringing people together and being a mentor and being um, organized and responsible. That makes me a fit for this role. So I would just ask for your support and, and please reach out if you have any other, any other questions. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, Whitney. So giving your closing statement, why, um, why this position, what do you hope to bring and why um, should any, like why should anyone elect you for the role? That sounds weird. Okay. Why should someone elect you for the role? <laughs> okay, um, again, thank you for watching. If you're watching now or if you're um, watching this later, I do just wanna thank you for taking the time out to just uh, pay attention to all us, all of the candidates that are running for this position. Uh, me particularly, I'm running because I am passionate about uh, what is what is after law school. I'm passionate about students having the necessities to be the attorneys that they need to be after law school. Um, my whole point in running is just so students can be better prepared for the bar, better prepared or, um, to obtain jobs, and, uh, and essentially students care about events that serve food. So um, just to be able to work with uh, the ABA representatives and the SBA president to uh, just come up with the funds to provide food for these events so students can be interested in coming out. And then once they're there, just capturing their attention on the things that they're important, that are important to them. Um, a lot of times these things are important, but students don't necessarily, cannot not necessarily find the time just because um, school is just so demanding. Um, but a lot of times uh, students would attend an event just because, oh, they're having pizza today. Um, so I think just being able to capture a student's attention, just as simple as offering something to eat or having ABA representatives um, at their table that may offer donuts for breakfast and then being able to uh, relay the information as what the ABA is, what the ABA has to offer. And um, also implementing a suggestion box at the ABA table so that students can directly state to the ABA representatives and to the ABA what it is that they want to see. So being able to just implement things where we are catering directly to these law students is what I want to bring to the position. That's what I'm passionate about. And that's why you should elect me to be your next delegate of programming. Okay, well, thank you so much. And Kathleen, you are last, last but not least, but to give a closing statement of why um, you apply for the role, what you hope to bring and why um, we should elect you for the role. I also want to second or in third what everyone has said before is a thank you um, for watching this video. I want to say that my initiatives are transparency and teamwork because the delegate of programming, in my opinion, is not a solo job. It is sort of bringing people together who are already in place and who are already active members, whether it's SBA presidents, ABA reps, liaisons, um, and anyone who is actually an ABA member. The resources are open to all of us. And I think what happens in the beauty of teamwork is that you have more funnels of communication where you can uh, 
really explicitly say, these are the roles that we have, and this is the importance of your role. And part of that would be a conversation about what do your law students want to talk about? What do they want to hear about? What are these discussions um, are going to take place on? So as I previously mentioned, career skills and networking can be the most intimidating thing that a 1L will ever hear about and can really honestly become second nature uh, in addition to mental health awareness and well-being and diversity, inclusion, and intersectionality. These are the hot topics. They've been hot topics for generations of law students. And I think the delegate of programming, if I were to be in this position, uh, would be a priority for me to implement some real programs in place and real lines of communication to effectuate a change and bring the community together that is national and that is passionate and very active. So thank you for your vote. Well, thank you all. Um, and for everyone listening, if you do have questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I promise I don't usually look this scary. I've been sick. <laughs> um, I've been sick, but don't hesitate to reach out. Um, and if you do, if you do want to get involved, um, also reach out because we have plenty of planning going on for annual. Um, but yes, thank you to our candidates. Um, and we hope to hear from you all soon. Well, we will hear from you all soon. <laughs> okay. Bye.